The first thing we'll want to do is draw a center line down the front and back all the way around the squirrel. To do so, I just kind of start by eyeballing the line, and then once I find where the center is, you can kind of brace the pencil and your finger against the wood and just trace that center line all the way around. So now I'm using the tip of the knife and also part of the edge of the knife to kind of clean up this cut connect these cuts into one smooth shape and we'll notice that once again there's um, some of this wood is kind of blocking some of the cuts that we want to make just like up here with some of the tail blocking the cuts that we want to make in the back. Now you can notice how, you know, after we did this rounding and tapering, you can see how shallow this separation between the tail and the back has gotten. So we can deepen that up a little bit now. And we can always deepen it more later, so don't worry too much at this point. Like that. And then we can take off the corner on the other side. Round this up through the ears. And the head looks very wide right now. So we can start to taper and narrow the head even more. Notice that I am keeping the paint quite thin with the water so that we're still applying the brown as more of a stain instead of caking the brown paint on top of the squirrel. The iris has a nice round perimeter, nice even circular perimeter. So we're just kind of cleaning up that area that we left in the middle of the eyes to bring to life. And that's it for painting.